What up, man? Out here with Scoby 23. All right, we out here. We about to do some work today. See them buckets, net, cones, hit by design. Not too much of an intro. Pay attention. <laughs> All right, we working on that third base line six hole shot. In case your back gets banned, you're gonna have to one day learn how to actually hit. I don't know. Oh, that's too nice. All right, let's start baseline. I don't know if you know Brian Milster, but just to make a point, uh, hitting behind Milstead on Dudley and Adidas back in the day made me watch him hit that line. That was a something in my toolbox that I had. So I took pride in working on that because he's a really great hitter and I wanted to learn why he's, he can do things I can't do. So obviously it's put a little effort and time into that to where I can do that and utilize that in games. So pay attention to the people you play with. It might be your best friend, it might be a stranger. That's how you help your team right there. Go on record, we hit down the line, not one home run. Not one. Wolf, though. <laughs> What's up, Daddy? <laughs> hit them cones, dog. The six hole shot's important for when um, the shortstop's in five man or a double play down. Uh, keep in the park, beginning on top of the ball to try to hit it down without elevating your ball. Obviously, for most righties, this is your home run area, home run zone. So it's important that you stay on top of the ball here versus lifting off your back foot. Because if you try to carry it over the six, like into the six hole, it has to be through the six hole. Otherwise, you're going to spin it out home run. Unless I got selfish teammate, nobody wants to play with. Woo. That's how you get the team fired up right there. That point is, those aren't like line drives through there, but I guarantee eight out of ten of those are hit. Even though it's not the prettiest hit, but when you're trying to keep it in the park and actually be a team player and get on for the next guy, eight for ten times eight hundred to me. <laughs> All right, the shortstop still has a backhand as ball, and the third baseman's not going to be as active because he knows I can hit that line, so he has to play me straight up. If you can hit a home run at will, you should not be playing here. Come on, man. Hey, this should look good. Don't pull an outside pitch. Also, when you put effort into BP, <laughs> yeah, these cones represent the area you're looking weak side five man. You got a five man stack on that side, hit that cone, pull side, hit this cone. 
That's I want to say, for a good middle infielder, you got somebody bouncing around who's, I mean, your middle guy's pretty athletic. You're going to have to be able to read a pitch and commit to a hole with one of the best defensive players on the other team bouncing behind that pitcher and reading which hole the pitcher jumps into. So there's a lot more, uh, there's a lot more goes into this than a lot of these big ass dudes, steroided up, jacked up dudes that just think they're going to blow it through the middle and hope they don't catch it. Uh, that's not good hitting. That's just, um, that's laziness. They don't, they haven't worked on their craft enough. If, it's good. if you can only get a base hit and hit as hard as you can at this pitcher to get a hit, you're not a good hitter. So, it just know good. that. He got me out. Look at that. Pitcher got me. I mean, exit velocity is like 115, bud. <laughs> California bat. Gears it up. You got good back control, that bat. Ball. When it bounces here, that gives them more time to react to get it. When it bounces past Marcus, typically it goes through for hit. Ideally. Yeah. A two hopper. Slide it off over. I'll take a teammate that does the right thing for the team and for himself. All right, we're gonna four hole shot now. Hey, make sure the camera is good. Maybe you gotta put it off to the side a little bit more. On the four hole shot, you gotta make sure you stay back a little bit. And um, a lot of times you can miss hit a ball in that four hole and still be a hit. Just cause it's coming off the bat weird. You see this thing, a daddy hack that might go out at the right center? That's like a controlled swing with the intent of getting a hit or having them make a tough play to get you out when the first baseman runs over and then it's a foot race to get there. But this is especially a swing you should have second and third, no outs, you know, base hit backside will get you two runs. Yeah, no double play. I learned them.
I should just shout out everyone I hit BP with. Who, Richard Clark? Richard, yeah. He's an animal. What's up, Rich? Alan Tanner, Chris Wilson, Bob O'Brien, Wolf, Pat Phillips, Ken Scobie, Mike Talbot, Mike Camille, Mike Martin. You got a whole kitchen now, bro. I got a whole kitchen, bro. I could open up a few restaurants. <laughs> Y'all see that can down there. We coming for you, dog. All right, first base line, something that most people can't do. I can't tell you on my first base when I tell get off the line because 80% of people don't practice. They just show them play softball. So um, this first baseline shot is basically when you have an extra strike on you, you can hit with fair or foul. But the intent is to hit it down the line, which are usually doubles. Make doubles. You ever heard of Andrew Collins? He get that line pretty good. I'm not gonna give any secrets. We talking about do that, John. Trash can, Marcus cooking there. All the bags better. I'm not cooking there. I feel like once a once a tournament, I catch a first base and slip it. I call I call Rob Peter slipping. Yeah, that's an easy double. Yep. Woo! Oh, that was that was better. Right over the bag, dog. Take it. To be a good power hitter, you need to be a good hitter. All I'm saying is I got a lot of people <laughs> that I sent a text to the kitchen that ain't show up for that shift. I mean, I did call Evan Lane to come out here and bring some sun coats. That's just back control, man. They hit a car? No, uh, but you hit it under that camera. I know, but... Is this a good idea? Look at my dog moving. Oh, what is your dog? Go boy. No cars there. Look at the back control. You can hit it where no cars are, bro. That's back control. Oh, where, why not? Get that on the ground. Oh. Here's a squirrel. That would have hit that truck. I've been hitting a lot of cars. I'm not going to say that. Oh, gosh. Now I look up, it's still going. Okay. Ooh. That was awesome. All right, guys. Um, welcome back to the kitchen. Got California back. Shut up the jersey, bro. Look at that. Look at that little girl. Custom, boy. Listen, you got don't get it twisted. Shirt? Yeah, no, no. I'm, we need I'm, to I'm, we need no, no, jersey no. swap. Jersey swap. Jersey swap. Time. Yeah, man, we'll do that, man. 
Now I got a rep for um Herm Wilkinson, yes. Nathan and Zach, man, local in Tampa, all over South Florida. You see his wife run that race? Oh, she did. She won a marathon. Man, good job, man. Shout out, man. So, um, video that you just saw was out there showing, you know, what we do. Like that. Look at that. Man, she survived breast cancer, bro. Okay, run, yeah, run a little bit, a little bit more. Marathon. Yeah, let him see that. Okay. I think props again to Herman's wife. Herman Wilkinson, wife just won a marathon, <laughs> marathon, breast cancer, got it on the jersey. You know, breast cancer awareness, I, I think it should be every month, not just one That's month. Right. I think it's in October, you know, so for everyone out there who's fighting breast cancer or any type You're of form of cancer, you know, I mean, you guys are the real heroes, man. So, you know, shout out to y'all, man. That's for that's sure. incredible, you know. Sure. So, um, the video you just saw, we're out there taking some swings. Um, I think that's probably the most complete round of BP that, you know, we could probably execute on film, man. Um, being able to hit by design, picking your spots, you know. It, it, not every swing is going to be that three, four foot line drive through the hole that you get the crowd going on and on. Sometimes you just, it might be a one hopper or two hopper in the right spot that gets through, you know. Um, I think to become a, a good power hitter, you just got to be a good hitter. And no matter where you're at in the lineup, whether you're in a three hole or four hole, your role is going to change every time, you know. Um, I've, there's times I've been in a lineup in the three hole, five hole, six hole, where I might lead off or anyone might have bases loaded, you know, and you got to be able to hit for the situation. So it's very important for you to have um, a whole bunch of different tools in your bag and not just be one dimensional. Swing for the team, not for yourself, man. What do you think? Uh, definitely. And I feel like I made a career basically on hitting the holes where people aren't standing. So to me, the chance of me hitting a bad home run is highly unlikely, and if it is, I was trying to do the right thing and just miss it a little bit. But I feel like, depending on your position in the lineup and what your job is in the inning and how many runners are on, how many home runs you have left, there's so much more goes in the game just hitting the ball. Like, that's the difference in an upper player and a lower player a lot of times. The talent, they try to not let upper players play down, but the lower dudes, they just whack it as hard as they can which is more likely to hit a pitcher. I clearly am not going to hit at a pitcher because I have back control and don't, I'm not going to do that. But to me, those free swingers. Um, the other thing is if you want to advance in your game, then you need to work on your game. Get with people that do hit. Our Marcus mentioned earlier, like reach out to people that hit. And when you're hitting, just don't hit balls. Like there's more to that. There's more to being a hitter than just hitting balls and saying, oh, I hit BP all the time. But you're doing it wrong. It's like anything. If you do, if you do it wrong repeatedly, you're still doing it wrong. What's free swing? What's racing me? Uh, that's a term I hate. I, 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 I don't like using the word hate, me. but... Um, hit it hard. Whatever happens, happens. To me, you, I, I, I hit by design. If 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 you're hitting a home run, it got to be by design. It can't be an accident. It can't be like, oh, well, whatever happens, happens. You got to go up there with a plan before you get in the box and, you know, have a few swings to, to react to a pitch or whatever, you know? Um, but, you know... Like I said, free swing is just not a term. It just feels like you, oops, well, whatever happens, happens. I'll just hit it hard. No, hit by design every time. Don't take no bats off, man. You know, run on third base, you know, hit the ball backside, get the run in. Yeah, I mean, one thing you'll learn is those players that free swing when they're moving up, like they could do that on their JBS team they're on. But then when you go to a team where everybody's good and everybody can hit home runs, now all of a sudden your free swing method is not going to get your ass on the bench. Yeah. Because we can all hit home runs. You should not be out here just whacking it away and then bragging about your average. And, and lastly, man, you know, band hitters, you know, they should not be a band hitter in e-ball. If you can hit unlimited home runs in e, you should be playing e, I think. So, up, yeah, man. What's How up, man? How y'all doing? Good, hey, Sandlot just showed up. Sandlot. <laughs> yeah. What's up, man? Welcome to Chef's Kitchen, man. First thing. How's it going, man? <laughs> Uh, we got, got, got yeah, feels yours. Yeah, yeah, feels yours, man. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. No, go ahead, man. Oh, did I disrupt you? Nah, no, 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 not at all, man. You know, we. Y'all got any illegal Suncoast bath or what? 